Bye, babe. Okay. <laughs> Hi, guys. We are in Australia right now, somewhere along the East Coast, and we wanted to do a Q&A. Dun, dun, dun. Steph's not feeling so well, though. She's got she's a little sicky poo. So, so don't mind my sniffles and my voice. <laughs> sound cute. No, I don't sound cute. Yeah, like super endearing. Of the super endearing. All right, and my red nose. I'll say here it goes for you because you're sick. Okay. Okay, so here it goes. Oh boy, we're gonna get the shots. <laughs> so Chris and I were gonna do a Q&A today and now she won't get off her phone. <laughs> we're asked to partner with Best Fiends, so Kristen has not stopped playing it. Marty on level 35. 35, eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it down. If you guys don't know what Best Fiends is, it's a puzzle adventure game where you collect and build a team of fiends to help defeat the slugs by matching same colored objects. Ooh, bad slugs. <laughs> and the 30th fiend, Pop, is being introduced this month. You know that. You're fiends. You can connect to Facebook so that you can compete against your friends through the new leaderboards. I'm on level 35. If you want to try to take me on, you can tell me what level you're on. Um, but I mean, I'm probably going to be higher than level 35 by the time I post this video. I'm going to beat you. For those of you who like a real challenge, this month Best Fiends is introducing Granny Slug through a new mini game with some huge rewards. Like huge rewards? You can download the game for free, and if you use the link below, you'll get five dollars worth of gold and diamonds for free. For free. All right, should we get into Q and A? I guess we should. Let's do this. <laughs> First question: What's your favorite thing that you've done in your travels so far? Mm. That's really hard, but good. Yeah, because we've actually done a lot of things. Yeah, I think. Fiji was amazing. Fiji was so nice. Everything's been so different. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go with skydiving. I think skydiving's my favorite thing I've done too, honestly. Because it was insane. Yeah, it was wild. Something that we both didn't think we'd ever do. Yeah. What was your first fight about with Steph? What was our first <laughs> fight about? for me. Um, I actually remember what our first fight was about. <laughs> what was it? We, we okay. have fights. So, when Steph and I first started dating, we were long distance. Um, so like we knew about each other, but we didn't know everything about each other. So I knew she had roommates, but I didn't know who they were. So uh. <laughs> we'd gone out um, for the evening. I think we even, oh, we went out oh, to spend the weekend together. We spend the night, yeah, we went to go spend the night and at, over at the ski resort and we we're having like an amazing time. And we went also with one of her really good friends and her friend somehow let it slip that one of Steph's current roommates, who she was living with, was actually her ex-girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> who's actually like one of my best friends. Yeah, it, exactly, and that's the thing, like I, was, I wasn't And mad. now you're one of your really good friends. Yeah, and I love her, I love Laura, Laura we love you. Um, but but it, and it wasn't- A little shocking. Yeah, yeah, and that's exactly what it was. It wasn't that I was upset that she was living with her ex-girlfriend, I was just upset that she didn't tell me. So I looked like an idiot, because I had no idea. And it's weird. It's not weird. Yeah, that like, is weird. It's I mean, okay. yeah, it was. I mean, it was weird to hear because we hadn't been dating for very long, mm -hmm. and um, but now that you know her in the situation, it's different. Yeah, but yeah. I I totally would have been like, what the heck? Yeah. Do you watch soccer? And if you do, what team is your favorite? Ooh, that's one Sorry. sport that we really don't watch. We don't watch any soccer, but it's a good sport. <laughs> Besides each other. What's one thing in life you both can't live slash travel without? I feel I think we like we should exclude like people and loved ones. Or what I can't travel without. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Your Joby? My camera tripod. Yeah, she loves her <laughs> camera tripod. The one time I put like, oh, the curling iron close to it, and she <laughs> asked me if I would put a curling iron next to a newborn baby. This thing does it all, okay? <laughs> it really comes in handy. And, and when you, I was gonna say, when you ask if we have someone taking photos for us, it's Joby, mm -hmm. the tripod. Yeah. What about me? I think Job's just covers it all. Yeah, Job's for both of us. Job's. What else do we use? I mean, there's a lot of stuff we we, we, we pack try a to lot pretend of like we're low maintenance, but we're not the. Yeah, we are. We're pretty low maintenance, we but we just need, pack a lot we of pack stuff. A lot of stuff. We don't need it. We just pack it. We have like half of our bag we haven't even used. Yeah, it's true. Kristen's high maintenance. Which of your parents are you most alike? I'm most like my dad, for yeah. sure. Well, and I, yeah. I don't know. I, I mean, you are definitely least, most like your That's dad. what people tell me. I have qualities from my father. If you met her father, definitely, definitely are like. Love you, pops. 
Who would win in an arm wrestle? Should we go? Should we try? Yeah, you wanna do it? <laughs> I'm weak because I'm sick. <laughs> if I lose, I'm cutting it out. <laughs> <laughs> ah, poop. <laughs> I knew I was gonna lose, but at least I hung in there. <clears throat> <coughs> yeah, that's not really fair. I picked on the sick kid. Yeah, you picked on me when I'm weak. You're yeah. tough, babe. Who is the most jealous? Probably me. <laughs> Thoughts on Trump? I don't even want to go there. No, you can't start this with us. We don't need yeah, to. This get is a Kristen. happy video. We don't need Next to get question. Christian Morales <laughs> up. Have you ever dated a guy? We both have. Yeah. We both have had boyfriends, but. Mine more recent than yours. <laughs> I've never like had a relationship with a guy. I wouldn't count any of my, I mean, I haven't dated a guy past the age of like 16. 10 years. 15 even. Yeah, so my, so my really. relationship with my ex is a lot more recent, I guess, than yours. Oh, this is, this is kind oh, of yeah, interesting question. Like one. Um, Mariana asked us, do you feel safe traveling as a same sex couple? It's weird because we never really thought much of it when we were planning this trip <laughs> until Kristen's dad asked yeah. us if all the countries that we're visiting were gay friendly. Gay friendly. Yeah. And we're like, oh shoot, I guess we should look into yeah. that. <laughs> we didn't even think to check. We looked into it and I mean, like, we don't need to walk around PDA all the time, but it's nice to right. know that you can just grab each other's hand if you want to or, you know, just yeah. kind of. I think as a same sex couple, you do have to be aware that like every yeah. place you go to isn't the same as like, say we're really fortunate in Canada. Yeah. So we do have to be aware of that, but we're also not gonna go to a place that is totally against it. Yeah. Um, so I think it's just being aware and I think you just have to be safe when you're traveling, especially just two girls, yeah. whether we were dating or not. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah, we feel safe. Who's most likely to propose? We got that question a lot. <laughs> Who's going to propose, Kristen? Steph's made it very clear since like day one yeah. that she's not proposing, so if it's gonna happen, it'll be up to me, and I'm fine with that. And I was gonna say, and she had no problem with that. From the no. beginning, you said you actually kinda wanted to, so. No, balls in her court. Y'all thought Steph was the planner, but I wait. <laughs> yeah. uh, <clears throat> oh, this one's directly for me, so. Kristen, do you get jealous when someone tries to flirt with your girlfriend, and what do you do? <laughs> I go over there and I plant one on her. No, I'm just kidding. I don't actually do um, that, but. You have done that. And I've done that too. <laughs> Depends how many drinks I've had. Okay, next <laughs> Have you learned any Aussie slang words? If yes, can you say it with an Aussie accent, please? Oh God. Good day. Bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I think that's English. No, I think that's English. <laughs> for sure, okay, good day. So, no. We and mate, they you. say mate. And oh, good day mate. Good day and, mate. Or just mate. Or yeah, they don't say she though. cheers. No, shoes. Cheers. cheers. <laughs> okay, so to answer your question, yes, we've learned some words, yeah, yeah, and yeah. no, we can't say yeah, it we not suck. the accent. But we love the accent. It's oh, so my cute. Goodness. And everyone sounds ten times funnier. Yeah. Do you guys want kids? Of course. Yeah, we really want kids. How many? That's where we have to work on. We want kids. God. What if one's a dud? <laughs> that would be yours. <laughs> Who's the one to say I'm sorry first after an argument? Me. Really? I feel like I am. Actually, you've gotten a lot better. Before, I feel like I could wait for days till Kristen would like mm. finally apologize to me. I'm stubborn. I'm stubborn and just, um, yeah, very, I guess very stubborn and mo almost proud a little bit. And now you've gotten a lot better when you know you've She's like upset me or something. You've actually like you'll say sorry and no, and own up to it. But before, you know, I'd be like five days later, still waiting for it. You've been good. It's really because Steph's always wrong, so she's the one who should apologize. No way. No way. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. No, not at all. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's hot in here. Yeah, it's hot. Do you hang out with many other lesbian couples? I always feel like it's so hard to find the perfect double date friends. That's true. Yeah, it is hard. Yeah, it is really. But we hard. have some awesome lesbo friends. Yeah. When you first started dating, how was it dealing with a long distance relationship? Um, it was fine at first. Yeah, it was almost like a little bit. It was fun, kind of, because yeah. every weekend we would have something fun to do. Mm -hmm. Whether I was planning something in Michigan or you were planning something in Toronto or we were meeting somewhere, like I feel like it was always fun. Yeah, and you had like 
the guaranteed weekend that you were just spending with each other. So right. it wasn't like anything else got in the way. We kind of cleared our schedules on the weekends. Um, and we, we made sure to see each other a lot, like twice a month probably, like at least two weekends a month. Yeah. Um, so it was fun, it was really fun until it wasn't because it gets to a certain <laughs> point. Like at the beginning. It yeah, was, at yeah. the beginning it was really fun and for a salt, like a good year it was really fun. Mm -hmm. But then we started kind of wanting to have a real life with each other or we could just see each other for dinner or, right. you know. And um, not always have to make a plan on every weekend we had to drive yeah. somewhere. That, that kind of Yeah, annoying. it gets exhausting a little bit. But but for the most part, it was actually really fun. If you were an ice cream flavor, which flavor would you be? Mint chocolate chip. Because you like Just it Just because I love it. Okay, I would be mint chocolate chip because you like it best. Ooh, that was a good yeah, answer. That, that was, was a good one. That was a good one. I'm impressed. Okay, I'll give you that one. Okay. Which one of you is grumpier when you're waking up? Yeah, Steph. <laughs> I'm so Definitely loving Steph. every time. Not a morning I wake person. Up. Not a morning um, person. Sometimes, like ninety percent of the time. Are you kidding? I'm not. Give her like twenty minutes and a coffee, and she's fine. But right away, you're grumpier when you wake up. But not every morning. Next question. That's it. We're done. All right. I think that's it. Thanks so much for the questions, you guys. Um, and if we didn't answer yours, we'll answer it eventually. Anything else? Keep sending them, we love to read them. If we didn't answer your question, we're sorry, we'll try to get to it next time. And if you haven't guessed already, this video was sponsored by Best Fiends. Go play it, it's actually really fun. A little bit addicting though, so yeah. be warned. <laughs> bedtime? Yeah, it's bedtime. It is so hot, let's turn some it's AC hot. on in here. It's hot in here. Yeah, cause... we turned the AC down so that it wasn't an annoying noise for you guys in the background. Yeah, you're but welcome. we are dying. Yeah. <laughs> and then you go blow my nose and turn an AC on. All right, Bye. see you soon. The challenge is just dating you, I think. It's okay though, honey, I still love you.